the event. Hey! Hey, Izzy? Do you think I'm unreliable? Why do you ask that? I just wanted to help my brother save Palmo, but... Ah, uh, he's still feeling bitter about what happened earlier. Everyone insists on treating me like an overgrown child. Oh, the, the phase. <laughs> Especially Martin. I'm sure it's just because they all care about you and want you to stay safe. And that's why they coddle me like a kid? I want to be strong and independent. Someone people go to for help. Not somebody they worry and fuss over. You're strong, Izzy. Everyone knows they can rely on you. How can I be more like you? Please, teach me your ways. You put it that way, I guess I have built up a certain level of trust with everyone in town. No idea how that happened. Well, I, you see, I dodged some cows, <laughs> and everybody liked me. Tell me whatever little detail comes to mind. I need any clue that I can get. Hmm. You're all out of clues. That usually means it's time for an investigation. Try talking to your neighbors. Big Birth has plenty of other strong people. You can investigate the secret truth of strength. Oh! That's a great idea! Detective work like this is right up my alley! Okay, let's open the case and get cracking. This is a weird case. The case of how the fuck do I become strong? Yeah. Eat well and lots of exercise. I mean, right? Basically, typically, yeah. It killed most of my trees. <laughs> Watering time. Go big and strong, okay? I mean, it also ruined a bunch of your other stuff, but it just was all fodder. <laughs> Sell the ruck. Don't feel like breaking it. <laughs> I hit Sven! In the middle of everything, huh? I don't even know how you'd manage to throw a stump on something <laughs> while it's still rooted in the ground. Yeah, that's it. It is impressive. And half of my straw... Well, not half my strawberries. But some of my strawberries, too. These are a very valuable crop. They keep growing back. can always buy more seeds. Although it is annoying that it offsets their synchronization. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. There, there. Just how it would work. As what well. oh, It's a shoulder strap for a, or well, it's actually a mount for a backpack strap to mount my camera for going to Japan. No, don't teleport help. Oh. So it's a standard view. Ah, and it's adjustable. Nice. Okay, cool. It's unlike any other girl for accessory. Alright! Okay, computer mouse. Fine. Is it doing the thing again? It's doing the thing again. Why is it doing the thing? It still controls the camera. It still lets me dodge. It just doesn't well, let you attack. Yeah. Disrespect. 
warp somewhere. You know what? Yeah, warp home. Go home. For what? <sighs> I could go after blue except yeah. that blue gem. Or I could just go punch a freaking dragon. You could do that too. Hello? This is he. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought they said. Yeah, that's what I think they they must have just clicked the wrong button, because yeah, like they told me ten. That's fine. Oh, my doctor's office called and asked if my appointment could be moved back to the time I already thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh. Because they didn't Someone in the office must have just clicked the wrong hour on the scheduling program. Uh oh, it's Kamehameha Fish. Hey, no water laser. I was at a concert the other day where the rapper would did, did a Kamehameha blast while his uh, other guy was going. I didn't die though, I'm here. It, They're fairly big DBZ fans. They even have a DBZ style shirt with them as the characters. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cecil, stop leveling up. <laughs> stop getting better at things, Cecil. Damn it! You're supposed to be weak and incomp uh, incompetent. That's what this whole story arc was about. You can't be a remarkable mage. I won't have it. I think the most annoying part about this is you have to wait for the platform to appear by you. And then, no matter what, the way it's all controlled is... Wait, what's the magic attack? 463? Yeah, but you don't use magic attack much. Sure I do. No, you heal, which uses magic attack skill. But you don't use magic attack. And I also don't know why it warps that way, instead of just being moving platform. Oh, double chocolate. See, so what are you doing? Another big friend you can't have! Mean! It's like a really expensive sushi meal, actually. Or at least a fairly expensive Yeah, yeah, you can hit people. But don't, it's rude! Yeah, that's not nice. Only I'm allowed to hit people. Thick stick. Useful. When you're at the level you can eat. Magic claw. I need to borrow you for a second. Don't worry, I'll put you back. Double steal. What does that even mean? I'll show you momentarily. 
No, I mean, it's useful and all, but what does it mean? What is double steel? Uh, I don't know what it is, but it, uh, repeats the last effect of whatever I added into my equipment. So, it lets you essentially use the same item twice. However, you just have to be smart about it, because you want it to be whatever the best of that thing is. Yeah. All aboard! Yep, all of us. Every last one, huh? Dirk. Turn up. They turn up every now. Oh look, where'd the water laser come from? Cecil. Cecil finds one. <laughs> I'm not under attack. They are. Hello! There's a dragon thing. Where? Two of them. Nice. Nice. No, I just don't you need to go get a scale, but we killed all the water guys. Uh, and by fishing, you mean killing skyfish. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying that the last time you were here that this is, or that your sister grew up on it, and then Izzy said that uh, it's the only one he hasn't played. All right. Sonic Storm sounds cool. <laughs> Nothing like Skyfish. He's bite. Belly. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but there's apparently treasure somewhere on the edge of this area. Closest to Cecil. What was that fish? Yellowtail. Was its tail yellow? Got eager. Dead. Okay, let's catch a big one. Now! Scrimps! Sky scrimps! But they're sea roaches. Now they're sky sea roaches? Mm-hmm. Oh, we passed it. No. That, that was wrong. Right. <laughs> that one flopped out of the water. <laughs> and into the more vaporous water? Don't know what that is. It's a fish. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, what else is there to know? Salmon, a sky salmon. Okay, let's catch a big one. Well, I have caught plenty of fish. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Oh, I need that. Come back. How are you supposed to fight the skyfish when you're over here stuck in the middle of nowhere? More dragon friends to kill. There's nice. <laughs> Fish are tasty. <laughs> I can hang out with them forever, though. No, I can hang out with you forever. Oh, that's sweet. That was actually a new statement. 
That's only at level 7. Okay, we get tired of them. You're the same. I never get tired of you. I could hang out with you forever. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Now I just need wet scale. She said I need to go backwards. There's treasure somewhere. I'm just gonna carry these seeds of whatever they are. <laughs> uh, toy herb. Oh, they were toy herb. Nope, all the other portals are still broken. That one didn't break. Oh. Yeah, you never broke that. But, there's a sneaky secret down there. Yeah. Did you know about it? I saw it on the way back over here. I, I found all these at one point, but it's been a while. It's been a while since you could hold your head up high. Oh. Hammer, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Well, stop. Physics are not working correctly here. Hammer. What's up? Here, I started to get puzzle. Oh yeah, you need to make the... Oh, yeah! I'll be back! What are you going to cook? Or whatever. This way. Okay, first I need... Yes, I could look up what she likes. Honey gear. Did not just don't eat eerie. Tempura. Scarlet? Yep. Scarlet. Favorite dishes. Tempura, tempura, udon, tempura bowl, golden octopus rice, and broiled rockfish. You can dig it an egg. Got an egg. Dang. Nope. Oh, I'm sure it uses only a little tiny bit of RP. You'll have to check. Because it will be funny. And she's out on patrol. There she is. She is taking a bath, which means you can't give it to her quite yet. Quite yet. Maybe by the time you run over there, she'll be out of the bath. You can gain the title of pervert in this game. Really? If you try and walk into the bathroom too many times. Oh. At least I think that's what it is, because you got klutz for walking in there once, so I'm pretty sure at some point that would be the case. You know, I always wanted a chance to settle things between us once and for all. Here. <laughs> now ain't that a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. Armrest. Uh, what are they doing? Murakumo and Derek are having an arm wrestling contest. And I'm investigating the secret to their strength. See, when I started thinking about strength, these two immediately jumped to mind. So I came to the inn and... Er, came to the inn to talk to Murakumo, and it just so happened that Master Derek was finishing up his bath. We got to talking, and before I knew it, they turned it into a big contest to see who's got the stronger arm. Muscle power, huh? 
Yeah, you can measure that kind of strength pretty easily. You ready? You bet. No take backs, got it? Wonder who's going to win. You could cut the tension with a knife. Oh, it's him. Gentlemen, I couldn't help but over here. Three way arm wrestling contest. <laughs> Would either of you mind if I joined in? Sure, I don't have a problem with that. But it's your funeral. If you get hurt, that's on you, not us. <clears throat> I don't mind either. I've heard plenty of stories about your adventuring days. But this is arm wrestling. Won't your size put you at a disadvantage? Oh, I'll manage. I'd be honored to be here if you considered me a worthy opponent. Randolph currently, or Randolph actually sounds serious about this. Is he going to be okay? Let's just make sure we're ready to call Simone. If the instant, it seems like things are, it like things are going yeah. south. Yeah, good idea. Alrighty then, Randolph, you and you can face me first. Fine by me. Gentlemen. Take your stances. Ready? Fight! Uh, roll! Whoa! Randolph, that was amazing! You beat Murakumo in two seconds flat! Yeah, looks like he used some kind of special technique. Next, I'm ready when you are. Okay, take your stances. Ready? Fight! Hook. Ah. Flawless victory! Ooh, color me surprised. You ain't lost your edge one bit. <laughs> Perhaps I still have what it takes to be an adventurer again. Oh, Randolph. The definition of big things come in small packages. You said it. He took down the two beefiest men in Rigbarth like it was nothing, even though he's half their size. I guess there's more strength in bulking up. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Strength in relation to muscle mass and physical size. Oh, he was in the party. Yeah, so they both come to the bath. Some nice cold apple juice tastes great after a hot bath. At least I think so. Yo. Oh, he just gives you that? Uh, thank you. I think that's actually one of his favorite gifts. I don't remember. Oh no, that's Julian's the one who likes all the juices. Isn't he? Waiting. Saw you move, Scarlet. I know you're coming out. Yeah, no, it's Julian who likes all the juices. <laughs> creepy, creepy stalking your uh, your your whatever. gift. I'll run into her later on, if you remember. I'll remember. I mean, she's probably getting out here at the third or at the three hour. I'll move on to Julian's next event for now. You mean Cecil? I mean Cecil. Ah, Julian. Julian doesn't get events. No. You shouldn't be dating Julian. <laughs> for obvious reasons. It's like nine. <laughs> <That's so much. laughs> 
Diesel, what are you? Glasses. Shh. I'm in the middle of a stakeout. You need to hear what they're saying. Oh, hey, she's out. <laughs> We're just having a normal conversation. Diesel was eavesdropping. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to think. You know what they say, if you want to fool your enemies, start by fooling your allies. Uh-huh. So who's the one getting fooled? Cecil, are you drunk? <laughs> Martin, can we get back on back to the topic at hand? Right. right. You're asking about my commitments. In my case, I'm mo most committed to the art of smithing. Working as a blacksmith requires you to do far more than simply hammer metal all day. Go on. I devoted myself to learning various metalworking techniques, but I also pay attention to the condition of my tools and the quality of my materials. Each day, I commit myself to learning as much as I can about every single facet of smithing, down to the smallest detail. Yes, because you're obsessing. I see. While at first glance it seems like a straightforward test of strength, smithing actually demands a great deal of care and research. That strong sense of purpose helps you make consistent improvements. I'm sure the ores of the world would be honored if a man like you worked with them. No. Compared to, no, oh. no, compared to Master Derek, I find myself lacking in just about every way. I must dedicate myself even more to my trade. I want nothing more than to master my craft. Years ago, I swore I'd devote my life to my work. And that's what I intend to do. Being too close. Yeah, I was gonna say, what the fuck? Why are you getting up in his face about it? <laughs> one day. One day I'll learned enough to shake hands with Master Derek, partner to partner. And then, someday I'll surpass it. Bro, you need to calm way down. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got a little carried away. Yeah, you're a completely different person when you're talking shop. Just that passion about the craft. Why are you facing away? Yes, I can sense the strength in your conviction. An admirable spirit indeed. I salute you too. Just hurry up and ask the next person already. Okay, um, Reinhardt, you're next. Hmm. Let me see. Personally, I'm committed to discovering the best method of refluffing a pillow once it's gone flat. Huh? I also put serious effort into finding the gentlest way to clean the laundry. Excessively rough washing will quickly wear out color and cloth. Sometimes I collect, a junk, collect junk other people have thrown away and repair it as best I can. It's startling how much life you can still find in, a, or in discarded trash. That's very environmentally committed. Thank you, Scarlet. Mm. I knew you would understand. I even challenge myself when I cook. Try to use every bit of peel and rind. Waste not, want not. That's what I say. Um, please that's, don't. That's not how flavor works. <laughs> when I do manage to use every last scrap, I feel an incredible sense of accomplishment. I can barely resist pumping my fist in the air. <laughs> wow, not what I expected to hear from a knight. Were those chores originally a hobby of yours or something? <laughs> They're an enjoyable part of my daily routine, but I wouldn't call them hobbies. I have but one desire that drives me. In a situation where true luxury is not an option, I am committed to providing Lady Beatrice with as much comfort as I possibly can. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I gotcha! Even your commitments reveal the depth of your loyalty and conviction. 
I'm impressed. Nothing feels like a burdensome obligation to you. You simply enjoy doing your chores like any other pastime. That shook a chord with me as well. Next time you have a free afternoon, how about you join me in recycling some empty cans? I like that idea. Let's see how many different ways we can repurpose them. Sounds like a plan. With the way this conversation is going, I assume you also have some unique commitments, Scarlet. I'm not certain whether or not this qualifies. But I think things need to have a clearly defined beginning and end. Otherwise, I feel painfully uncomfortable. Interesting line in a game that has no clearly defined end. Got any examples? For instance, when I sit down to have a meal, I will not get back up until I have finished eating. What if someone gets murdered? Oh, not until she's finished eating. <laughs> it's gonna have to wait, okay? <laughs> If someone speaks in a meandering fashion with no clear point or purpose, it leaves me frustrated and confused. I could see that being Shin or you. And once I start piecing together a jigsaw puzzle, I simply can't stop until I've completed it, no matter how many pieces it may have. That's not true. She will walk away from her puzzle. Because <laughs> it's never finished. Maybe they're different puzzles. But you watch her, and it's left undone when she stands up. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit that I reported for duty one morning without sleeping a wink the night before because of a puzzle. Is that embarrassing? I think it's amazing you've got it, the grit and determination to see everything through to the end. No, it's not something worthy of praise. Upending my daily schedule for frivolous activity was unacceptable. Ha! 